Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey, everybody, thanks for joining us on today's video. Uh, I don't even know where to start with something like this. This is a 79 International, and you know, when you talk about International, International is probably the place where you would start if you were building yourself some off-road vehicle, uh, because you talk about the International, you talk about Legendary. For instance, the, uh, over the road trucks, uh, legendary for hauling millions and millions of miles. Uh, international harvester for farming implements and things like that. International scout pickup, heavy duty, great towing, great farm truck, things like that. And that's the life that this started here. Now what happened from there is it became a total custom frame off restoration with less than 500 miles on it. As we walk around here, I'm gonna have to carry the hanging tag window sticker that's on here because I'm no way gonna be able to remember everything that's on here. But I will say this to you. When I'm done with the video, if you ever see another one like it, I need you to call me personally because I know for a fact you go to a car show and never see yourself again with the same exact vehicle anywhere else. It is uh, one of a kind, it's ridiculous, it's beautifully done, and if you could somehow see the detail in the video of this, there's no way that you won't be able to uh, find a way to get this into your life. So anyway, let's take a walk around for a minute. I love the color, for instance, it's called Desert Tan, and the reason why this is a great color is that first off, it works really well if you decide to take this to the Sahara Desert, or if you wanted to take it off-roading, it's easy to keep clean, and what have you. But the good thing about it is it's very heavy duty everywhere you go. We're talking about, look at the size of this winch right here. This is a pretty capable four-wheel drive vehicle, and you could find yourself stuck someplace, not for long. This right here, you wrap around a tree, it's got a remote, you plug it in, you stand back, hit the remote, it pulls the vehicle up and out of the mud, or whatever it is that it has gone to, and uh, you're back on the road again, all right? Super high intensity discharge headlights are in here big push bar. Now look at the difference between this push bar and maybe one you've seen on your friend's pickup truck. This is the custom stuff that I'm talking about. Check out how beautifully cut this fender is and this is custom made, welded to the frame and then powder coated so that it stays nice and shiny. Look at the plate, the mounting plate that's here for the winch and your own tow hooks, okay, to help somebody else or a neighbor out. Look at the size of the springs, shackles and suspension all in here. This even has a stabilizer bar for the steering, so that if uh, you're doing high speeds and you hit some rocks and things like that, it doesn't jar the suspension like that. It's the detail stuff that I've shown you. It's just so expensive to do, and being it's a complete custom and a frame off restored vehicle, it's gonna be beautiful, all right? Anyway, all right, so let's keep going. So you have custom molded flares. These are not plastic. These are metal flares, they're handmade. Great choice of wheel and tire. First off, I love BF Goodrich Radial TAs, the all-terrain tires. They're a great tire. Secondly, the wheel is tasteful. It's not like too jazzy because at the end of the day, this thing is already in your face and I think the wheels would detract from it if you went ahead and got some crazy set of wheels and tires. You may want to do that and that may be what you like. I just didn't change the wheels and tires because I thought it looked really nice. This right here is kind of cool because it keeps the ground clearance in place, but it also helps you get in because it swings down and it's spring loaded and stays out of the way. Okay, um, keep on rolling here we go original style big mirrors here off newer vehicles and that's where some of this custom stuff comes in and I can show you so check this out how hot is that gold wing doors okay and you just get in step on the step and you step right on in it's got the original VIN tag right here we're gonna get in the interior in a minute in the engine compartment but I just wanted to show you some more little detail stuff look at these these are stainless steel now you might say to yourself, well, what's the big deal? It's a few stainless steel rivets. Well, those are uh, Allen screws, but you know what? If you needed 200 of them and they're three bucks a piece versus 20 cents a piece, all that stuff starts to add up, okay? All right, so I've been carrying this thing around like it's my blanket because there's so many things that are on this vehicle, there's no way I'm gonna remember them all, but I just wanna keep going. So, custom-made steel flares, all right? Check out this, and this is the part that uh, says to me, probably the most money was spent on it right in here. This is designed to be an ultra safe, uh, super rigid chassis vehicle. So what I wanted to show you was, if you look right here, the frame, okay, is all been custom welded into tubes and then strengthened with steel here. They gave some thought to water that might fill up inside the bed, so they cut out drain holes here. Little stuff. Not only does it have the full gas tank inside, it has two auxiliary gas tanks on both sides too. These Rhino stickers can come off if you don't like them, but uh, I left them on there just in case you did. They're just decals, you can put whatever you want on there, okay? Stainless steel hardware here, and the gas caps are locking, all right? Anyway, so you got the gas shocks that hold up the doors, 
incredible light system here. This right here is for if you want to put a roof rack on top so you can throw some more uh, luggage in there. You may want to, if you like, change this and put a rear seat right here. That would be pretty awesome because awesome, you could bolt the seat in, put some seat belts in, and your kids could ride in the back or you could ride in the back. You got the spare tire right there. Check out the LED tail lights. Very nice with stainless trim. Okay, come in here for a second. All new wiring, stainless steel, acorn nuts. Look at the detail in here, the welds, the fabrication. Like everything in here is just so much extra effort and work. Uh, you just have no idea what it would take to build something like this. We've been told it's somewhere between fifty dollars and $60,000 to build this. Um, we had a client who traded it in, wanted to get himself a couple muscle cars. And uh, so we went ahead and we swapped them out of that. All right. So the outside we've looked at, we spent a lot of time out here. Let's check out uh, the engine compartment and then we'll move inside the vehicle because both of those are off the hook. All right, let's take a peek into the hood for a minute because again, uh, the detail uh, is amazing. So come on, check this out. Everything's already painted all in here. The grommet holes have fillers in here. This is power disc brakes, okay? Um, the engine is painted the correct color. It's around 300 horsepower, all right? Check this out here, cold air conditioning. Air conditioning in here too, which is really nice. All the wiring is new. Check out the insulation that's been cut for it. You got a big giant uh, radiator here with uh, a big four or five blade, even maybe six blade fan. Uh, serious, serious business. But a couple of things that we forget to ask about, A, power brakes, uh, which we talked about power uh, disc brakes, but power steering as well. And when you're uh, working through uh, some rocky areas or in the sand or whatever, the power steering is uh, kind of nice to have. This is set up for cruise control. I'm not sure that the cruise control works still, but it's set up for it. Um, and everything is, I mean, essentially is a brand new uh, International Scout, but obviously a complete custom edition. So I think this is a spectacular, spectacular piece. I could ramble on about it for days and days. Even the triple belts that are on there so that you have, uh, in case one of the belts breaks, you know, you've still got a backup belt on there. Just some real thought was given into everything about this. You've got driving lights on the front right here. You got KC driving lights up top there. We have a light for uh, partying in the back. I'll show you that in just a second as well. Okay, let's check out the inside. All right, this right here is some kind of cool vehicle. Let me just tell you, okay? All right, so in here is all painted. You can put two jump seats back here if you wanted to but these are leather, they're also heated. I made sure that the heating works in them. They're power. Here's the heated switches, you can turn those on like that. We also have the uh, lights that light up in the rear. These are for the power mirrors if uh, you wanted to hook them up. We didn't hook them up because it just seemed uh, kind of redundant. I'm not sure how often you'd use them. Now here's a, so this has the original International Harvester radio in it still, okay? Um, and right here, Okay, we could put in an AM, FM, CD, iPod system for not a lot of money. Just a few bucks in there uh, would really complete this whole thing and uh, be very, very nice. Everything inside's all been restored, shown 450 miles on the restoration. All the decals have been redone. Um, just uh, uh, switches, pedals, lights, vents, everything in here is all painted, but it looks to me like it was powder coated. Uh, which would be really expensive, but it's really, really nice. All new wiring inside. I mean, just uh, uh, an awesome vehicle. Check this out. Look how bright that is, man. Okay, so uh, we were talking about uh, money spent. Uh, what I wanted to show you was, look at how this X-Brace in here ties everything together. The, the chassis, the frame, all of this just goes through and it's all tied in. This thing is so rock solid. It's way more solid uh, than any four-wheel drive vehicle has a right to let alone one that could be just a, a road vehicle if you want to do. This is full race stuff uh, to give you an ultra stiff chassis, but here we got air conditioning, we could do the upgraded sound, and you have all that great stuff, and you just close the doors and off you go for a drive, and maybe we just uh, change the steering wheel to like a cool, uh, maybe four spoke billet wheel if you want, and put a radio in it, and I think this thing is done. You don't do anything else. Even the cup holders are welded into place with little holes in the bottom to let them drip out there. One's deeper than the other. This is the thought that somebody gave to building something like this. So if you had a little shorter cup here, that it wouldn't get stuck down to the bottom and a little deeper cup would go on this side right here. Throw your wallet and your change or whatever right inside there. All this stuff here, just heavy duty. Boom, easy to get to. You don't hit anything. 
uh, and we talked about the AC, and the AC is super, super nice to have. So anyway, just an awesome, awesome piece. Hey everybody, thanks for meeting me underneath here. What I wanted to show you was, first off, the, the frame is painted a different color. The suspension's all heavy duty. These are polyurethane uh, bushings for the frame to meet the body. But look at this, Flowmaster exhaust tucked up inside the frame with a cross pipe built in. Nobody does this stuff, man. Let me just tell you, the work that's gone into this is off the hook. The guy that built this was super detail oriented, knew what he was doing, and, uh, and did a great job doing it. I'm looking around, look at the way the exhaust is bent, goes back out. We talked about the three gas tanks that are in here. Just amazing, amazing piece. Uh, I mean, from the spring-loaded steps to get in, that's just really, really cool. And uh, the truth is, if you don't love the door system in here, uh, we do have another option on the doors that we can make them full going doors if you like to, so you don't have to step over that panel. I've already sorted that out, and that can easily be done. So let us know either way, okay? Okay, so in the world of details, we talked about things like, for instance, this has five matching wheels and tires, right? It has a winch. It has uh, all the driving lights in there. We talked about the frame that is welded into the entire chassis to make this so stiff, down to little things like air conditioning in here. Four-wheel drive system, uh, heated power leather seats. I mean, this thing is off the hook awesome. Anyway, I don't know uh, what else to do for you other than give you another second just to look at this video or watch it for a second time because there is so much in here. I'm sure I glazed over a couple items that have uh, some importance as well. Uh, I'm sure the doors alone to build probably uh, took uh, several weeks just to build the doors with the sliders in them, uh, to make them work properly with the gas assist, all the pieces that are powder coated and what have you. So if you ever wanted like the coolest four wheel drive vehicle out there in the world, this just might be it. Anyway, call us 301-816-1000 and we'll tell you all about it.